Hello and welcome to this uh, demo of XATC Chatter version 1.5. Uh, today what I want to do is uh, walk you through how to install this product um, either using the standalone player for X-Plane uh, 1011 or how to install the Chatter files into Pilot to ATC for uh, playback by that product. Um, so a little bit about XATC Chatter. Uh, it's a collaboration with uh, Stick and Rudder Studios and LiveATC.net where I, as well as a group of volunteers, uh, collect some uh, files, some um, archive files off of liveatc.net, and we edit them and break them into individual clips for playback by either Pilot to ATC or uh, the standalone player in XATC Chatter. Um, and it's really great for uh, adding some immersion, as I think you're going to see here. Uh, in the latter part of this video, I actually have a pre-recorded flight um, that you'll be able to watch uh, that's actually using Pilot to ATC with the chatter files, and you'll really get a sense of how this, uh, how this works and what the immersion is really like. So with that, let's take a look at uh, what it's like to install this uh, XATC chatter. So when you purchase XATC Chatter, uh, you're going to be given an opportunity and a link to download uh, this relatively large uh, zip file that contains um, all the Chatter files um, as well as the, the standalone player and the manuals and, and stuff like that. Uh, the zip file is pretty big, it's over 400 megabytes, so it will take a little bit of time to get it downloaded. Once you get it down, um, it'll typically be brought down into your downloads directory. That's where most browsers uh, put these files when you go to download them. So once you get it down there, what we're going to want to do is unzip it, and then once we get unzipped, we'll take a look at what the directory structure looks like. So I uh, happen to like 7-zip for my zip utility. Um, it's a really good one. And I'm just going to right-click on this, so go to 7-zip and say extract to here. And what this will do is extract uh, the archive into a folder called x-atc-chatter. There we go. So let's take a minute and explore what's in this uh, folder, okay? So we'll just come over here, and we'll take a look at what's in there. So the first thing you'll see is there's a couple of directories here called 32 and 64. Um, if you're familiar with uh, X-Plane plugin technology, this is where the binaries are uh, that X-Plane will look for to actually run the, the standalone player plugin. You only need this if you're going to use the standalone player. If you're going to use this with a Pilot to ATC, uh, frankly, you're not even going to need this. So I'll walk you through both of the two procedures. Um, you're also going to find a uh, license agreement, this frequency.csv file contains uh, all of the frequencies and latitude and longitude of the uh, various ATC facilities uh, throughout the world. Um, and there's also a manual here that you're going to want to take a look at and, and read. Now the interesting one here is this regions directory. This is where we actually store all the clips. So let's take a look at what that looks like. If we click over here, you'll see that it's broken down into Africa, Asia, Canada, Europe, Oceania, South America, and the United States. Um, as we collect recordings from around the world, we'll populate these. At the moment, we've got the United States pretty well populated, and Europe is in pretty good shape. Uh, and we've got a pretty good start on, on Canada. Um, the other locations have still got a long ways to go, um, and we will be working on those uh, as we go through. And one thing I would like to put a plug in for is, if you're interested in helping us with this, uh, there is a volunteer program that you can find on our website where if you volunteer and you help us collect these and edit these clips uh, and you send us at least 100 good ones that we can accept, then we'll give you a free license to XATC Chatter you know, with all of the other uh, clips and, and collections that we've got in there. So let's take a look at the United States. When you open that, you'll see that there's a controllers directory. And the reason this is here is this matches perfectly with the directory structure that Pilot to ATC needs um, to operate uh, using its controller mode for chatter playback. And then if we open up the controllers, you'll see that you'll have one for approach, clearance, center, departure. And then what we have is a departure ground tower and Unicom and destination ground tower and Unicom. And the reason why we do this is uh, it's to help the immersion out a little bit. When you're leaving an airport, um, you know, the set of voices that you hear for ground, tower, and unicom, you'd prefer them to be different than when you're landing at your destination airport. And the whole idea is that, you know, you're not, not going to hear the same runway callouts, you won't hear the same voices. So we try to break them up a little bit uh, and make sure that we don't put the same feeds, you know, for departure ground into the destination ground uh, folders. Um, and even the, 
the pilot to ATC as well as the standalone player, it's aware of whether you're, you know, going back to your, you know, you're landing at your departure, or taking off from your departure airport or landing at destination airport, and it'll automatically select the right clips, you know, based upon the phase of the flight that you're in. Um, and let's take a look at, uh, you know, one of these. If we go to, say, departure ground, scroll down here, let's listen to one of these. Just double click on it. Map uh, or uh, ground, uh, Delta. 1817, one north with uh, uniform. Delta 1817 on ground, taxi via Foxtrot to 26 left. Foxtrot to 26 left, thank you, Delta 1817. So if you hear that clip, and let's just uh, play one other one. Delta 1871, 1870. I thought you were 1871, but you're 1817. Delta 1817, monitor tower 1253 two. 2253 two, Delta 1817. So if you listen to both those two clips, you'll notice that what we try to do is edit out any glaring uh, location-specific uh, uh, language in there. So example, if you were to hear a clip that said uh, Boston Tower or um, you know Denver Ground or whatever, we try to edit those so that the Boston and the Denver are taken out of the clip. Um, and the whole idea of that is that is you're you know landing at different airports or operating at different airports. Uh, generally, you you'll you'll you know be able to feel like it doesn't really matter where you're at with what you're hearing. Now, clearly, we're not going to do things like edit out uh, SIDS and Star references or you know taxiway references that are that are unique to that airport. That would just be too onerous. But at least editing out things like the Boston out of Boston Tower the Denver out of Denver ground or the Atlanta out of Atlanta center it just helps a little bit with the immersion okay so that's what these clips look like and uh, what's going to happen is is that either pilot to ATC or the standalone player will play these clips um, in order with a random delay between them based up to, depending upon which controller you've got selected okay so let's go back and uh, look at how we actually install this. So the first thing I'm going to do is take you through how to install it into Pilot to ATC um, because that's you know relatively simple. Once we've got it extracted here, you'd come down to um, your regions, and what you're going to want to do is pick the region you want to work. At the moment, Pilot to ATC can only handle. It doesn't understand the concept of regions. It is something I think that uh, Dave, the developer Pilot TT, is going to add. Once we get enough collections uh, in all of these folders, he'll add some capability to pick the regions. But for now, you're going to have to pick the region you want to work with, OK? And you can merge them to some degree. So example, if you know that, uh, like United States and Canada, you're probably free to just take them and merge them together because it's all English speaking. And uh, although you might hear a little bit of a Canadian twang or or whatever in what you're hearing, you could probably combine those if you wanted to. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense to combine ones from the United States and Europe. The, you know, just the differences that you're hearing in the controllers. You it would it would clearly be you're not in the United States or you're not in Europe. Okay, so let's say we wanted to install the United States ones into uh, Pilot to ATC. You just open up that um, that particular region, right click on the controllers folder and copy it. And then you go over to where your Pilot to ATC is. I have mine installed over here on the C drive. And under Pilot to ATC, you're going to see there's a sounds directory. And then there's an ATC chatter directory. All you have to do is just paste it right in there. OK? And uh, Pilot to ATC is now aware of all of these, uh, you know, all of these chatter files. Now, there are some, um, some settings, OK, that you need to set in Pilot to ATC to make this work. And let me show that to you uh, right now. So here's uh, the sounds uh, setting dialog box in Pilot to ATC that you're going to have to adjust. Um, so the first thing, once you get this open in Pilot to ATC, you're going to check this little radio button here called Controller Folders. Um, this root folder should already be filled out for you, but it basically points to where the sounds folder is in Pilot to ATC. You're going to want to check this pause between a file playback, and then put what you want, okay, for the random delay. Uh, you know, up to the maximum random delay you want for uh, for that playback. You know, in between those clips, and then you're just going to check uh, the play chatter uh, checkbox, and you should be uh, you should be good to go. That's all you really need to do. Uh, do one thing you do need to check is you 
in Pilot TCC, there's an ability for you to go to the comm channels and, and, and play with the volume. You're, you are going to want to increase the volume on your on your comm channel uh, so that you can hear the chatter playback uh, you know, when that's going because the volume for the radio channel is actually separate from um, your sappy voices that, that it plays back. Um, so there's a link over in the Pilot ATC forum about how to do that, but it'll be pretty obvious. Just remember to turn up your, your comm volume. So that's all to what you have to do for making it work with Pilot TTC. And a little bit later in this um, video, there's going to be a whole flight that we that we flew from um, uh, New York up to Boston Logan Airport, where you'll actually be able to hear what this chatter stuff all sounds like with Pilot TTC. Okay, so now let's take a look at what it uh, what you have to do to install it into Explain for the standalone player. So if we come back over here to the downloads directory where we had unzipped that XATC chatter archive, what you're going to do is just click on that folder called XATC chatter, right click and say copy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to install this into the Xplane plugins directory. So you have to find your Xplane folder. Mine is over here on the D drive. I'll use Xplane 11. You're going to want to go to resources plugins and then right here uh, at your plugins folder you're going to paste this Okay, and uh, now you're ready to fire up XPlane 11. So let's do that. Let's get XPlane 11 up and running, um, and I'll actually show you how to use the standalone player. Okay, now that we've got XPlane up, uh, let's take a look at how the standalone player works. So the way you access uh, the standalone player is up in the plugins menu here. You should see an entry for XATC Chatter. And there's two windows uh, in the in the standalone player. One is the control panel, and the other one is the show nearby facilities uh, dialog, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. So first, let's just open up the control panel and explore uh, what that looks like. So you'll see here uh, with this control panel, you have a bunch of radio buttons here. The first one, uh, first set of ones here, here are your regions, and this is where you manually select the regions that you want to play. Um, somewhere down the road, I might be able to figure out a way to enhance this uh, chatter player so that it knows what region of the world that you're in, and it can automatically select these for you. But for now, you have to pick, you know, what region you're flying in. Um, over here on the right are all of the controllers associated with that uh, region. And here you can see, in the United States, we have 1,518 uh, clips, and we've got 239 in approach. There's 44 in clearance delivery, 332 in center. And if you pick a different um, region, these numbers over here on the right are going to change. So you can see what we've got for Europe. Okay. Um, down here in this section, we've got the uh, how to set the delays. Uh, it defaults to a minimum delay of five seconds and a maximum delay of 30 seconds. And what that means is, is once a chatter file is finished playing, um, then what the um, player will do is it'll randomize a number between 5 and 30 and that's how much of a delay it's going to have before it tries to play the next clip okay and you can change these if like wanted to shorten this a little bit here you just set that to 20 and then you just have to hit this set delay um, setting here and of course there's a save button down here which uh, as you change any of these if you save it um, it'll it'll make it so that that's um, you know what's going to happen the next time you bring up the um, you fire up X-Plane, it'll remember what the settings were that you had. Okay, a couple of other uh, checkboxes we've got up here beside this. We've got Radio Power and Play Chatter. So Play Chatter is kind of like your master switch. If you've got, You have to have this on in order to get any of the chatter to play back, okay? Um, if you've got, and let's actually just go ahead and turn that on right now. Uh, 695, Mathian 19, zero nine, greater to Bugney, the 17, zero nine, greater to Finca. 190 to buggy, and then uh, 170 to Finca, let's get 695. Okay, I'm just going to shut that off so the chatter doesn't talk over the top of me randomly. But you have to have that uh, play chatter on to hear anything, okay? Um, if you also check the radio power button, what that means is is that the plane has to be powered up. Uh, you got to have some voltage on the, on the electrical bus. 
uh, you have to have um, your uh, master avionics switch on and you have to have the power on and the radios and for the most part most planes you know control these things uh, you know properly sometimes you might have a plane where it's got special data refs for these and this won't work but for the most part um, if you have this radio button checked if the planes power down and the comm radios are off you're not going to hear any chatter you know which makes it you mean you got to go in and kind of power the plane up and and, and get things going um, the automatic controllers checkbox what that does is is the the uh, player will monitor what frequency you got dialed into com one and then what it does is it looks to see what ATC facilities there are within a 100 nautical mile range, uh, you know, of where your aircraft is at. And if it can find a the closest um, facility that matches that dialed in comm frequency within a 100 nautical mile range, um, it then knows what kind of facility that is. Is it, a, is it approach? Is it clearance, sender, departure, or whatever? Um, and it will start it'll automatically change your controller um, to that particular type and let's see if we can actually do that if I turn this on not quite sure what we're tuned to here but we'll see and then let's turn on chatter and ground for Delta 129 you just want to straight back or into the you said Delta to an alleyway correct that's correct hill south into the alleyway hill south into the alleyway and we did you did say expect two four left that is correct okay so you see that we were dialed into uh, uh, Boston Ground as it was playing that back, okay? So let's bring up another dialogue here, which is the uh, show nearby facilities. And what this does is this is going to show you the uh, up to 50. It'll only show you 50 at a time, but it'll show you up to 50 um, ATC facilities that are within a 50 nautical mile range of where you're at, okay? Um, and you'll see that uh, it gives you buttons here with all the frequencies, and you actually can press these, okay, to change... Um, you know, change your comm channel, actually tune the radio, okay, to that frequency. It shows you the ICO code of the facility, the distance it is from your aircraft, you know, 0.5 nautical miles, and then what the name of it is. So you can see here, this is Hanscom Ground. I'm actually at, uh, located, the plane's located at Cape Bedford. This is Hanscom Tower. Um, you know, here's your Boston approach and departure. Here's your Boston Center, you know, frequencies. So to show you how this works, if I actually turn the chatter playing back on, Delta, Delta 8, and Echo. Delta, Delta 8, then Echo, Camera Jet 857. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune Hanscom Tower. Tower Delta 2763, over And you can see that it Delta switched. Delta 2763, number one, way 24 right, land. You know, to a different... If I come over here and I tune to Boston Center. Spirit wing 305 286, descend into 240. Spirit wing 305, Delta Roger, direct. J Lop, maintain flight level 240. J Lop, descend 240, Spirit wing 305. Okay, so you can kind of see how that works, okay? It does, um, you know, automatically select the controllers, okay, that you want. You do have a couple of volume controls over here. This one here is for your chatter volume, and this one's for your engine volume. Um, and what I find is is that the, the the sounds of the engines it varies a lot between the different planes in X Plane 11, and sometimes they're they could just blank, frankly be overpowering. Um, so I put a slider in here that allows you to adjust them. Uh, and all it's really doing is just writing to a X Plane 11 uh, data ref uh, that controls the volume of the engine. So if you find that they're a little bit too loud, uh, you can turn them down a notch, okay, using this uh, volume control. Now, on this volume control for the engines, it's not going to work for every plane. Some planes have got their own sound system, and they don't honor that um, common data ref for the engine volume. In that case, if they're too loud, you're going to have to go over and fuss with the, the volume control, uh, you know, wherever it is on that unique uh, plane, you know, that they've got. So that's a little bit about how the, the player works. Uh, it is not integrated with the X-Plane ATC because I frankly couldn't find a way to do that. So if you are actually using the verbal instructions from X-Plane's ATC, uh, the chatter player doesn't know when to pause. Um, what it will do is it will pause if it sees that you're tuned to a, uh, a weather station. So actually, let's uh, do that if I put this back on. Okay, 9 to 5, 5 heavy at 2 4 
Boston Logan INTL Information X ray. 1600 Zulu weather. Wind calm, visibility more than 10. Sky clear, temperature 14, dew point minus 10. Altimeter 2992. Arriving runways 33 left, 04 left, 04 right, 33 right. Departing runways 33 left, 04 left, 04 right, 33 right. Advise on initial contact, you have X-ray. And you'll notice, okay, that what happened here is that the player saw that you were tuned to an ATIS station. So what it did is it paused the playback. And all I have to do is go back and switch to, I'll go to... Uh, we'll be staying 1,000 or below. We got you on TCAS. Roger that. Okay. And you could see that it, um, it switched over to a Unicom station. So that's a little bit about the, the player. Um, by the way, there are commands. Uh, that you can map either keyboard um, keys to or let me shut that off so it doesn't uh, talk over the top of me. There are commands that you can map um, some buttons to um, to either pop this thing up and down or open it up and I can actually show that to you really quick here if we come up to here go to joystick settings uh, let's see I think I've got uh, yeah, see, I've got this button here, you know, toggles the control panel on and off. And um, I think I have another one here. Yep, on the hat switch. It's set to a custom, and if I edit that, it sees toggles the display to nearby ATC facilities on and off. So you do have a couple of um, uh, uh, XATC chatter commands you can do. You can also do things like have keys to select uh, your approach clearance, uh, you know your departure all your different uh, facilities you can actually have um, uh, keys to do that you can start playback stop playback um, if you want to completely manually control uh, the way the thing is working uh, you can do that by mapping keys and uh, you know and or buttons to it so that's a little bit about how the um, player works and uh, what I'd like to do now is uh, uh, bring you right over and let you watch a video that we did um, with what the immersion kind of feels like, okay, with these chatter files. Now, this video was done uh, using Pilot to ATC, but you'll get kind of the same feeling um, if you use the standalone uh, player, if you don't happen to have Pilot to ATC and you want to use a standalone player. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching this, and uh, let me put you right into that video now. Morning Center, Alaska 550, level 370. Alaska 550, Center, good morning. Washington International Marshall Information, India. 1454 Zulu winds are 141 at 5 knots. Visibility 10 miles. Skies broken. Temperature 13, dew point 6. Current altimeter is 3010. Arriving and departing runway 10. Washington International Marshall Information India. 1454 Zulu winds are 141 at 5. Clearance Southwest 1017. Southwest 1017. Didn't get a CPGLC, we've got Zulu. Alright, let me try to find this now. Southwest 1017, your clear cage in 2 departure. Single transition at 5, block is 2527. Southwest 1017, clear the Cajun 2, sting a transition, then as filed, squawking 2527. Southwest 1017, you're back correct, see ya. WestJet 626 ready to copy IFR clearance. 7. WestJet 626 is cleared to Kilo Bravo Oscar Sir. Fly the Paleo 3 departure, with the AC transition, then as filed. Expect departure runway 10. Climb to 4,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Departure on 124.55 squawk 5264. WestJet 626 is cleared to Kilo Bravo Oscar Sierra. Fly the PALEO 3 departure, with the AC transition, then as filed. 
climb to 4,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure. Departure on 124.55 Squawk 5264. West to Jet 626 read back correct. Altimeter 3010 contact ground on 121.9 or 1 ready to taxi. Have a good afternoon. Altimeter 3010 ground on 121.9 or West Jet 626. Double eight seventy eight with you approaching seven whiskey. Three five point three. Good day. Three five three whiskey alpha. Southwest eight seventy eight. Good day. Southwest thirty nine eighty two tower thirty five three. Good day. Thirty five three. Okay. Okay. I'm frontier eleven ninety eight one whiskey. Frontier eleven ninety eight ground hello. Room with three four eight taxi via Fox Trot. Three four eight via Fox Trot frontier eleven ninety eight. Good day. WestJet 626 ready for engine start. WestJet 626 engine start approved. Engine start approved WestJet 626. 98, you'll be ready to roll? Yeah, we'll be ready. Right on, Westjet 1198, 100 time, 135.3, have a good day. 35, good day. Frontier 504 one way, this way. Frontier 504 ground below, did they tell you to get numbers to the left or the right? We got them both. Frontier 504, thanks, runway 34 left, taxi straight ahead. 34 left, straight ahead, Frontier 504. WestJet 626 ready to taxi. WestJet 626 taxi to runway 10 via taxiways Juliet Juliet, Bravo, November, Alpha, Foxtrot. Hold short runway 15 right, and runway 10. Taxi to runway 10 via taxiways Juliet Juliet. Bravo, November, Alpha, Foxtrot. Hold short runway 15 right, and runway 10 West Jet 626. Grand good afternoon, United 2031 Heavy, three whiskey with whiskey, taxi. United 2031 Heavy, ground runway 34 left, taxi via Golf and Whiskey Alpha. 34 left, Golf Whiskey Alpha, United 2031 heavy. United 74 down, follow that first southwest from like 34 left, following. Follow the first uh, southwest of 34 left, United 74. Yeah, 74 left, Golf United 2031 Heavy Monitor Tower, 135.3 today. 1353, bye-bye. Frontier 626 six Contact Tower on 119.4. Enjoy your afternoon. Tower on 119.4 West Jet 626. Air 1479 at Blue Streak 5443, watch the tower, you guys ready to go? Ready to go, Blue Street 5443. Blue Street 5443, runway 15, line up away, take a transponder, code you now, show up on the ground radar. Beardy goes, turn the corner. Next transponder's on, and uh, runway 15, line up away, Blue Street 5443. November 890 Alpha, are you guys ready to go? That's affirmative, sir. November 890 Alpha, runway 15, line up and wait, Chuck lands runway 19 or twice. All right, line up and wait, runway 15890. Tower WestJet 626 ready for departure 10. WestJet 626 winds are 130 at 5 knots cleared for takeoff, runway 10. Cleared for takeoff, runway 10 WestJet 626. Lemberg 6275, don't stop as you turn a corner traffic inside the three mile final runway 19 or clear for takeoff. Lemberg 6275, clear takeoff runway 19, keep it rolling. Tower Ranger 1460, rear visit 19. 
American 1460, tower runway 198, clear to land. You got a helicopter about a uh, half a mile to the east of you at 1,000 feet, no factor. All right, clear to land 19, American 1460. West Jet 626, you have traffic at 2 o'clock, 4 miles at 1,400 feet. Delta 2847, runway 19, Atlanta, Boy Company, 4 mile, final beer for the immediate. Boy, runway 19, Delta 2847. TCAF alert. West Jet 626, turn right, heading 110, cleared current position, direct speak, then as filed. Heading 110 cleared direct speak then as filed WestJet 626. WestJet 626 climb and maintain 1 1,000 feet. Climb and maintain 1 1,000 feet WestJet 626. WestJet 626 maintain 1 7,000 feet climb and maintain 1 7,000 feet contact Potomac departure on 124.55. Have a good afternoon. Climb and maintain 17,000 feet departure on 124.55 WestJet 626. Departure WestJet 626 climbing to 17,000 feet. WestJet 626, good afternoon. Radar contact. United Skyway 5557, it's a 19, 4,000, good rate down. All right, down to 4,000, got 6, 5, United 765 to 1784,000. Seven 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 eight eight four thousand. United 765. Uh, Envoy 3377 over Zena, contact air tower 128.15. 128.15 over Zena, Envoy 3377. West to Jet 626, climb and maintain flight level 230, contact Washington Center on 132.05, have a good one. Center on 132.05, take care WestJet 626. 77,000. Center WestJet 626, climbing to flight level 230. Raising 27. WestJet 626, good afternoon. Radar contact. 765, clear at Gaviota. All right, direct to Gaviota, Horizon 2765. November 5, Delta Golf, contact center 127.17. Good morning. 127.17, you have a great one as well. 5 Delta Golf. Center Galaxy 815, Juliet Whiskey 350. November 815, Juliet Whiskey Center, good morning. What's your Mach number? Uh, decimal 805, Juliet Whiskey. 5 Juliet Whiskey, right. You may say Mach 80 or greater for uh, space. 80 or greater, 5 Juliet Whiskey. Southwest 1027, climb and maintain, flightable 370. Uh, 370, Southwest 1027. Southwest 1429, what's the uh, indicated there in the class? 305. Southwest 1429, right, 300 or greater than as you train. WestJet 626 expect the ORW 7 arrival with the HTO transition for the ILS approach to runway 27 with the claim transition at Logan International after call cleared direct Hampton East Hampton contact Washington Center on 127.02. Have a good afternoon. Expect the ORW-7 arrival with the HTO transition for the ILS approach to runway 27 with the CLINA transition after COL cleared direct Hampton East Hampton Center on 127.02 WestJet 626. Transition Mach 7 8 Center WestJet 626 at flight level 280. Southwest 16 WestJet 626, good afternoon. Radar contact. 46, you can uh, maintain 300 knots for the uh, climb out and then transition to Mach 7.8. 300 knots and Mach 7.8, so that's 
Southwest Jet 626 descend via the ORW-7 arrival with the HTO transition altimeter 3002 at Logan International. Descend via the ORW-7 arrival with the HTO transition altimeter 3002 West Jet 626. 665 is 26.4 descending 24. American 665 center descend and maintain 12 level 1 niner 0. Same call 3 niner 0. Spirit wing 305 286 descend into 240. West Jet 626 contact Boston approach on 118.25. Enjoy. Approach on 118.25 West Jet 626. 305 center Roger 6. WestJet 626 descending to 3,500 feet. WestJet 626, good afternoon. Radar contact. WestJet 626, turn left heading 005, maintain 3,000 feet. Heading 005, maintain 3,000 feet west jet 626. West jet 626 cleared for ILS to runway 27 fly heading 305 to intercept final. Cleared for ILS approach to runway 27 fly heading 305 west jet 626. West Jet 626 altimeter 3002 at Logan International Contact Tower on 128.8. Enjoy your afternoon. Altimeter 3002 Tower on 128.8 West Jet 626. Tower West Jet 626 inbound for ILS approach runway 27. West Jet 626 radar contact. Continue ILS to runway 27 call when established on final. Continue ILS to runway 27 will call when established on final West Jet 626. Base 5793, the wind is calm, turn left heading 210, runway 24 left, clear for takeoff. Left turn 21024 left, clear for takeoff, compass 5793. WestJet 626 on final runway 27. WestJet 626 winds are 270 at 10 zero knots clear to land runway 27. Clear to land runway 27 WestJet 626. Tower Redwood 1890, uh, angling base 24 left. Redwood 1890, Tower, good morning and following an RJ on a 3 mile final tropical holding position runway 24 left, clear land. Clear land, 24 left, Redwood 1890. United 414, contact departure. They're 414. 100. Compass 6042, right 24 left, line up and wait. Chop on a four and a half mile final, be ready to go. 30. 20. 10. Skywest 3076, left at Echo 13, left on Echo, then ground point 65. West Jet 626 exit runway when able. Compass 6042 RNAV Delray, wing calm, runway 24 left, clear for takeoff. RNAV Delray, uh, clear for takeoff, 24 left, compass 642. Boutique 341 tower following a 737 on a two mile final. Caution wake turbulence, traffic will also hold in position right 24 left, clear to land. 24 left, clear to land, 341. Clear of active West Jet 626. West Jet 626, welcome to Logan International Contact Ground on 121.75. Enjoy your stay. 
ground on 121.75 West Jet 626. Hey, ground, Jet Blue 2126. Jet Blue 2126, go ahead. Yeah, we're gonna have to stay right here and actually have our ground crew re uh, switch. 35 cross runway 10 at Golf and then join Fox Drive, hold short of runway 15 right. Our 435 coming, crossing 10 Golf, holding short of 33 right on Fox Drive. WestJet 626 request taxi to the gate. WestJet 626 taxi to gate Alpha 6 via taxiways Echo, Sra, Whiskey, Kilo, hold short runway 04 right, and runway 04 left. Taxi to gate Alpha 6 via taxiways Echo, Sierra, Whiskey, Kilo, hold short runway 04 right, and runway 04 left west jet 626. Delta 1233, let the southwest pass you left or right. We'll get away, Delta 1233. West jet 626 ready to cross runway 04 right. West jet 626 cleared to cross runway 04 right. Cleared to cross runway 04 right west jet 626. Southwest 500, taxi X-ray. Southwest 500, runway 15 right, taxi via Tango, Hotel Papa. 15 right, Tango, Hotel Papa, Southwest 500. 